Chris and Kevin here from Bitcago, excited to talk about Ethos and give you guys a little bit of information on how to get started with them. Yeah, so Ethos is this incredible new platform. Uh, it's going to be releasing fairly soon. So what, what Ethos essentially is trying to do is they're trying to become this people-powered platform, and they're really stressing that they're a platform more than anything else. So what they want to do is they want to make the entire crypto space accountable and accessible to the average user or really to the new user that's coming into the space. We know that majority of people there might only be 1% of, of all people in just the United States in cryptocurrency currently. So we know that the majority of people are still coming into the space. And they want to have this platform be kind of the go-to space for people to learn and have a sense of trust, essentially, when they're looking for information. So the interesting thing about this is that Ethos doesn't just want to tackle cryptocurrencies. Now, they're going to tackle cryptocurrencies first. That's where their passion is. And uh, that's the market that they, that they think is fueling uh, all this growth. Uh, but they want to tackle traditional assets as well, such as stocks and bonds. So they really want to be kind of the go-to shop for accountability in financial uh, markets and investing for, like I said, the average user or maybe a, a new user uh, just getting started out with investing their money. So Ethos wants to uh, roll out uh, a few different updates, essentially, and a few different features, if you will. So the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to roll out their universal application, their universal wallet. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow users to have one place where they store all of their cryptocurrencies securely and, and uh, with trust, essentially. So they can be sure that this wallet is going to be what they can check and make sure they have the 50 ethos that they just bought or the one bitcoin that they just bought or the 10 ethereum they can go to this wallet they can check it they can check the price uh, they can uh, potentially exchange it if they want to whether it's buy or sell but it's the one stop shop for all of their different cryptocurrencies yeah and that's really what we see a lot when you look at what people are saying on the internet um, and anybody who's ever asked us questions on how to get into it, it's the hardest thing for them to wrap their head around of how to just get started and where to keep their money. And Ethos is going to make it very simple for people to just go into one place. And just like Chris said, that's really the biggest thing that's going to change the game for those people who aren't comfortable with crypto yet, who want to get into it but don't really understand it. And their platform looks great, even from some early videos that they have loaded up that you can check the description and link to. It's pretty amazing how they have it set up. And I think anybody will be able to get in there and use it and understand what they're doing. Right. So not only do they have the Universal Wallet, which will be coming fairly soon, but they also uh, have a, a number of other features as well. And another big feature that they're striving towards is having their app be a fiat gateway as well. So fiat is like U.S. dollars or euros. And having their app be a fiat gateway is a large step because what it'll, it, it's another door for people to come in through, essentially. So right now, if I want to go buy Bitcoin, I have to sign up on Coinbase or Gemini if I'm here in the U.S., which actually uh, I learned a couple days ago that Gemini is not even supported in all of the different states, such as Wisconsin. So if I want to buy a Bitcoin, I have to bring in and use my US dollars. Well, the only way that I can do that is through a select number of exchanges. So Ethos wants to make it so that way they are yet another platform where you can bring in fiat currency and purchase cryptocurrencies. And what they're striving to do is they're striving to make it easier and more user friendly than the current exchanges that allow you to do this. I think based upon uh, the information that I've read and the interviews that I've seen with the team, they want to probably open this up so that way it works very much like an E-Trade or a Fidelity would work, where you link up your bank account, uh, any 
pretty much any bank uh, in the U.S., let's just say, any bank that they support, and you do an, what's called an ACH transfer. And with an ACH transfer, what most of these brokerage firms allow you to do is transfer in or out, essentially, in a limited amount of money at any given time. So right now what we see is, like with Gemini, for example, all you can do is transfer in through ACH transfers $500 a day. And they also have limits uh, with, with outgoing transfers as well, which obviously isn't conducive to new users coming into the space. Right. It's very difficult for people to get onto all these different exchanges. And sometimes exchanges even close their doors temporarily when they get overloaded. So having that one place to go is going to make it simple for people that don't have those accounts set up from the past. I know that quite a few people were trying to get in this recent boom right before um, the drops recently, and they were having trouble getting in, and Ethos would be a really easy way for them to sidestep that whole process, just not have to deal with it whatsoever because it's all in one central spot. Yeah, exactly. And this brings up uh, one of their other big features or points that they're rolling out, which is their liquidity network. So Ethos is striving, and they, they are making it adamant that they are not an exchange. So I don't think they want to be compared to the Geminis or the Coinbases, even though we were just talking about that. They don't want to be compared to those. What they want to do is they actually want to work with the exchanges. So what does that mean? Well, Ethos wants to create this, what they're calling, liquidity network. And essentially what that means is they want to take in orders from users of their application and they want to uh, pass those orders off to the different network or to the different exchanges. So if I'm an exchange, uh, I am incentivized to work with Ethos because Ethos is going to be, or what we think is going to be a kind of a big door for new users to come in through. So there's going to be a lot of money that, that uh, is exchanged through this Ethos platform. And if I'm an exchange, I want a piece of that, essentially. So through this liquidity network, it's going to be nice for the end user because what's going to end up happening is after Ethos goes through and vets out these different exchanges, and they're going to be meticulous about who they work with because they want the platform to be very trustful. So we know that we've had a lot of problems recently with a lot of exchanges, whether it's being hacked, or systems going down um, or closing their doors entirely. But uh, these exchanges do have these issues. So what Ethos is going to try to do, and hopefully they do a good job of it, uh, is vet out these systems and make sure that they're providing uptime for their users. They're not crashing when the price of Bitcoin is skyrocketing or crashing or what have you. So users uh, aren't trapped, essentially. Um, but through this vetting out, uh, it's going to create this sense of trust. Um, but the biggest thing is that because all these different exchanges are going to be on the platform, users are going to be able to price discover. So if you go on a coin market cap, and if you look at a lot of the, the top coins, they're traded on many different exchanges. And a lot of these different exchanges have very different values. And that's a result of the market being very... Uh, volatile, but also illiquid um, at, at this given time. So uh, what they're going to allow you to do is they're going to allow you to find the best price available based upon the exchanges that they're working with, which is a big win to the end user. Yeah, and there's a lot of videos out there for Ethos. We're definitely not the only one. And a few things we wanted to focus on in, is that in particular. So that's one of the first things we're going to talk about that really makes this whole platform come to life is that vetting system. The accountability has been terrible, like Chris said, from a lot of the different exchanges out there. And Ethos, having a different system in place to make sure that everything stays consistent is going to make a huge change for what hammered us last month. Right. Um, also, having that one-stop shop for everybody to go to for planning out their purchases and their sales is huge. We've seen a lot of varying numbers. Um, we've seen some of Places like CoinMarketCap just close out exchanges from where they pull information from because they're wildly different from everyone else. So it's going to make investment a lot more secure and show people that it can be more consistent instead of wildly fluctuating everywhere. Yes. So.
So one of the big things that people haven't been talking about with the Ethos platform is their social aspect. And this is something that I think is going to be a huge part of it, and it's going to be a major value uh, uh, play uh, for the platform. So with the social network, what they want to do is they want to give the ecosystem this platform away for other user for all of the users actually to interact with each other and to spread information um, but again they want to kind of play off of this trust model and what they want to do is they want to kind of gamify it in a way so what they want to do is they want to allow people to ask questions and get advice but also understand who they're getting that advice from and also the advice that they get have some sort of rating, if you will, in terms of how good or bad the advice is. So I think we, we, we see a lot out on the web where you've got all of these different sources and there's a ton of information out there. And again, whether it be for regular cryptocurrencies or traditional assets, but you, you see all this information, it's hard to understand who's telling the truth who's trying to deceive, and really make heads or tails of a lot of it. And the only way to really do it is to spend a lot of time actually reading it and, and experiencing it. Because until you do that, you don't have a great sense of who's lying or who's telling the truth. So what they want to do is they want to create this system where users are able to go on there, give predictions, and give answers to questions and then have those predictions and have those answers rated, if you will. And then through those ratings, the platform can tell who they can trust and who they can't trust. So if I'm getting information from a guy who's lowly rated, I'm obviously not going to want to take that information very seriously. But if I've got a guy with a million points on the platform and he's very highly rated, I might want to take his opinion with a little more brevity uh, and trust that a little bit more um, and, and make my investment decisions based upon what he's saying. The, the team is very focused on making sure that everybody kind of in the world has access to good financial advice, which is really hard to find or really costly in a lot of cases. So if this is kind of that bridge to that gap, I think it's going to be a big win for, like I said, not only the crypto space, but really the investment space in general. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that with the way that they want to incentivize people for being honest and giving good information, it'll help once again with that accountability piece. So Ethos is already looking at ways to make the system itself more accountable, but also the people who are providing information to new investors. Um, people are always asking me in particular, I know, um, where do I go for information? How do I get you know the right stuff? How do I make sure what I'm reading is going to help me out? And it's really really hard right now. You go on Reddit, you're getting you know a huge mixture of good and bad, and you really can't make heads or tails of it. Twitter, Facebook, all these other groups that these coins have are obviously biased towards what they want you to know. So to get a perspective across the market and have it be honest and direct is going to be huge. Uh, it's really hard for people to trust one person versus the other right now because we've seen YouTubers and um, big players in the crypto world push a coin and then be completely wrong, but they benefit from it. And this system will help keep everybody in a check and balance that the community has a control over, which says a lot for what they want to do. They don't want to just push it forward on their own dime and make sure that they can benefit from it. They want everybody to be able to equally benefit from this whole social platform being there. Right. And it, it really incentivize, incentivizes participation uh, because, you know, not only do I want to ask my question and get good investment advice because I want my money working for me, in a way that it's actually going to grow rather than have me invest in a scam coin where I lose it all. Uh, so, so not only is it great for asking those questions, but also it incentivizes answering the questions because they want to highlight those experts as they call them within the system. And they want to give those experts badges 
and I believe they want to have a reward system as well. And this is speculation, but more than likely, I would imagine that the top uh, people providing those answers, those experts, if you will, will be rewarded in potentially ethos tokens themselves, which obviously are going to have a value to them, which could be cashed out into fiat currency. And there will be a good way to understand whether those users are actually experts or not. And you'll be able to take their opinion seriously and probably want to listen to them. Which is also interesting too because the Ethos platform wants to make a way for people to share their portfolios as well. Which I'll be interested to see how they end up doing that. I would imagine they'll make it very optional uh, and, and put a lot of security around that. But uh, I think it'll be a good thing because what, end, what ends up happening a lot in, in financials and when you're getting financial advice, it's hard to know for sure if a person actually owns that security or cryptocurrency and, or whether they don't. And that can tell you a lot about what their beliefs and what they're saying actually means. So just by having that ability to kind of express that and, and show off their portfolio can also go a long way. And I think, I think it's going to be a big win for the financial system as a whole. Yeah, to kind of wrap up some of those points, um, we see some big things happening with Ethos. Ethos is trying to answer a lot of the problems that we have right now in the investment side of cryptocurrency. And we have those three different types of crypto investors. We have people who are really in it because they believe in the system and they want to see a change from just fiat currency to having more options um, and that whole decentralized you know, theme. We also have investors that want to play the long-term investments and hold on to things for a while and build value over time. And we also have those people who just want to make a quick buck. And Ethos talks to all three of those types of investors. And because they can get information that can get them those quick gains, you're going to see the short-term investors benefit from it, from that social network and social engineering aspect of it. You're going to have the long-term investors who invest in Ethos and some of those bigger coins um, through this app, see an easier way to track that performance. And you're also going to have an entire system that opens up the possibility to bring more people which is what it needs in order to really take off. Um, and the three things that we talked about in this video that we want to highlight to make it a little different than some of the other ones is really that liquidity network. It's a big word and hard to wrap your head around, but it's a very important part of what makes Ethos different. Um, the social network is a huge piece of it. And the difference between them and what an exchange offers is another huge piece of ethos trying to change the game um, and there's a whole nother section of ethos that we can't even talk about in one video uh, mixed with all this other stuff which is their bedrock or an api if you've you know seen that term from other places and we'll make an upcoming video on that to just explain that whole piece right um, but stay tuned and look for us in the near future and we'll hopefully get you to wrap your head around that whole idea as well yeah and don't forget to watch our other videos we have a few other cryptocurrency videos and surely more to come, but be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.